What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video we're going to take a look at Mini Banners Pro. Now this tweak basically allows you to completely customize your banner notifications on your device, and there's a ton of awesome settings. So uh, I'll just show another example here real quick of a banner notification using Mini Banners Pro. As you can see it has an animation, a completely different look doesn't take up the whole status bar on the top there, it's just a little notification. So now let's jump into the settings for Mini Banners Pro. Now like I said, there's a ton of different settings, so we're going to start out with animation at the top there. I had to slide from left to right. I'll just go down the line so you can see all of them. So there's the fade, basically just kind of fade it in. And fade out. There's grow. slide down from top flip around X axes and the Y axes would be the opposite and then you can disable the animations down at the bottom I'm going to show you something really cool about these animations and you you can also change the position of the notification. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select slide down from top. I'm going to go back out here and then you can see below animation is position. So I have top center. If I were to go to bottom, let's do bottom right. And if I do the uh, slide down from top animation, it will literally slide from the top of the screen all the way down to the bottom. It's very cool looking. So there you go. So, you know, changing the position in the animations kind of you can play around with some really cool stuff with this. So as you can see, here's just all the positions. I'm not going to show you all these. Uh, top left, right, bottom left, bottom right, top center, left center, right center, bottom center. You know, just a ton of different positions. Now here you also have the transparency of the banner. So let's just turn it way down so you can see that it is, you know, very transparent like that. And I also have a shadow turned on. You can turn the shadow on or off, which, you know, gives it a different effect. I like the, you know, the alpha to be all the way up. I think it looks cool. You can change the background color of the notification banner. So here's the all of the uh, colors right there. I'm just going to change it to a light blue so you can see the, uh, the change take effect. And I'm going to back out here so you see all the different colors for background. You can change the badge color, the text color, the border color, so you can really fully customize these banners to be the colors you really like. Now you also have long press preview, I'll show you what that is. So if I press and hold it, it will show you the body of the notification, which is very cool. You have swipe to dismiss, auto expand banner, enable shadow, so that was the shadow I was talking about if I turn that off. As you can see, there's no shadow. And then there's Notification Center, always accessible. I always leave that on. And then you have Moonshine. Moonshine allows scrolling through the whole message, not working if Reveal is installed. And then here's Enable Kronos. If Kronos is enabled, banners have to be dismissed manually. Banners are still replaced automatically. So that's basically it just a ton of awesome settings to really get your banners to be the way you want them and to look the way you want them. Just a very awesome tweak. Again, it's called Mini Banners Pro. It is 99 cents in the Mod My I repo in Cydia. Let me know what you guys think about this tweak down below. This is Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.